What is up guys, this is Moritz here from Sectionster once again and today we will be having a look at our all-time favorite. It's a little remake of the scrolling announcement bar we already released a couple of weeks ago and you guys definitely like that one. It's our bestseller so I'm pretty assuming it is like that. So this one does come with icons as well, that's the main difference about it. And I'm going to show you how you can save yourself a lot of time, money and hopefully make yourself a really nice looking store in the next step so I just say we get right into it and I'm gonna start with heading on over to the Shopify admin area I did install the section store app for this tutorial so you can easily get that one completely for free it's a non subscription app in the Shopify app store and then just click on section store itself it will open up the collection of all of our sections there is a collection of I think almost 200 fully customizable component sections for Shopify and the one we will have a look at is the scrolling announcement bar 2 not the scrolling text that is the one as you can see right here like I said already the main difference is that it does come with icons and like I said already, it's a non-subscription app, but some of our premium sections come with a little charge and this one does as well with $9. And after successfully getting that, you're going to own this forever. You don't have to pay any subscription fees and I think you'll save yourself quite some time and no developer needed as well. And you still have all the customization options in the world. All right, after successfully getting it, head back to your sections where you can find the scrolling announcement bar right here and then add it to the theme you're using. In my case, it's the Dawn Light theme. Head back to the theme editor and then just click on Customize In, Dawn Life. And then we open it up. It's the one you saw. And here we do have the one we added already. And I'm going to start completely from scratch. So this is the scrolling announcement bar two. Let's get rid of that. Add it again. So here we have scrolling announcement bar two. Let's save it up so we're gonna make sure it's getting displayed properly and we're gonna put it all the way to the top. It's gonna be there anyways but like that the editor is not gonna jump down and we'll have a better time customizing that thing. So yeah I'm gonna show you real quick how I changed the color so if you get rid of that you can put it wherever you want. You can even put a URL to it. There's a gap you can put in between so now they're a bit more spacious the animation speed make it slower or faster let's just make it like that for this example it also pauses on hover I don't want that I just wanted to have a few the icons could be a little bit bigger just for this tutorial and then the fonts are changeable as well the text size too so if you want to make it even bigger you can easily do that the section background we want it to be the orange you saw in the beginning of the video and here we also gonna change the icon color to black and this is gonna work if we save it all up let's give this a second and here we have the orange background the icons in black and now i'm also going to show you how you can change the icons so as you can see here the icon always does come with the text so here instead of an airplane i'm just gonna put a truck shipping free from 100 euros so that's a nice one to have made in England and Jupin is quite nice for that but yeah you can see a pretty nice variation of different icons you can use for that one so here we can put chat all time customer support and if you're not happy, happy with the icons we're using, you can always upload your own ones. So yeah, let's save it all up, have a look at it in the live version, and then we can pretty much round it up already. If you guys have some suggestions about videos we should make in the future, always feel free to put them in the comment section. And as we can see here already, the section is working perfectly fine. I think it's a really nice catcher for new customers if they come on the page, and it's definitely upping the design and overall feel of your store and i hope you guys liked that and if you did always feel free to leave a like and a follow and with that being said have a good one guys and peace out